Holy dooly, have a look at that. I mean, that's not just a dam, that's more like an inland sea. And I'm told it goes 50 kilometres that way from this damn wall. So what we're seeing here is less than 10% of it. And this beauty here, believe it or not, supplies 80% of Greater Sydney's water needs. G'day Shane, I'm Ronan. Ronan is from Water New South Wales, which manages Warragamba Dam. It is the most protected yeah, water source in the world, isn't it? Or one of them? Yeah, no boating, fishing, no camping, walking, biking, it's all closed, so fully protected. So mate, where does all the water behind that wall come from? Shane, it's been on a really, really big journey. So that catchment there stretches all the way down to Goulburn and the water comes from both the Woolundilly and Cox's rivers, then makes its way through the catchment right up to the dam wall. So from here, uh, when required, you just release that downstream to go to a, a plant from here where it's filtered? Yeah, not quite. So we select the water through various layers to make sure we're sending that great quality water down through the treatment plant. So like a lasagna, you can literally pick the layers of water that are best at any time and only release that layer. Absolutely, and it's really important. So the team are looking at data they've captured as the water's coming in and they're analysing that to make sure we're picking that really good quality water. But Warragamba Dam isn't the only source of Sydney's drinking water. Discover the incredible journey behind every drop by watching the full video. Oh, that's good.